Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. I'm here with uh, Dion Curry, my boo boo baby, and I'm here with White Boy Chris. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, Chris, because you remind me of the Unabomber. <laughs> 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 just write about some things yeah with that said make sure you stay tuned after the music because you about to hear a bomb ass episode so jasmine just texted us and said talk about the movie and you said, what movie? And she said, the movie coming out Friday. Anybody else I knew had a movie coming out Friday? <laughs> you just got so much going on. Y'all make sure y'all go see me in, uh, um, what is it called? <laughs> Let's just start over. We'll, get all that shit. <laughs> we'll promote it right. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Y'all make sure y'all go see me in. <laughs> Don't tell mama the babysitter dead. It is funny. I had a nice little role in that. They cut some of it out, but I was still happy. And guess what? It's only in movie theaters one day, and that's Friday, and I'm going. Mm. And let me tell you why. Because it was supposed to just go straight to BET+. Plus. It did so well when they was testing it, so they decided to put it in the theaters for one day. So if y'all could just please help me out, even if you don't go see it, just mm. go to your local theaters and and buy the tickets. Please. Please, just buy eight tickets, 12 tickets, 15 tickets. <laughs> buy tickets. You got 18 that's, ticket movie? <laughs> that's how many movie tickets, tickets. That's how many tickets the, uh, what was that Magical Negro movie sold? They already pulled it from the theaters. Did y'all see that? <laughs> what movie are you talking about? What? That new... That that new all black movie with David Allen Greer, uh, the Society oh, of yes. Magical Negroes, or something like that. They already took it out the movie theater. That quick? Mm hmm. What happened? They said it made like, I think, 2.4 million total, and its budget was like 15. What they only mean? gave it three weeks. <laughs> Do you want to see the trailer or a little bit of the trailer? Yeah, I, I heard about it. I heard Gary around so much she wasn't going to watch it. She wasn't going to? Mm-hmm. All right, here, here's the trailer. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. I should have called it Nigga Potter. <laughs> I know you can feel their discomfort. What was that? <laughs> But they should have called this nigga Potter. <laughs> Baron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me. Sorry. I don't want to take you to a job interview. There's a recruiting class starting right now, and we got to get you in it. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. I don't really understand. It's easier to say. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. <laughs> white people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. The name needs a little updating, maybe like magical black people, or I guess that doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, wow. Your first client is a Jason Munt. His morale is far too low. Hey. Hey. Darn it. I was hoping there was a station right next to him. Oh, is this one spoken for? No. Yeah, it's actually fun and weirdly relaxing. It's like being a secret agent with none of the danger. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She's great. Yeah, she's cool. You kidding? Come on, man. She's smart and funny. I know what you were doing going on about her. You're trying to set us up. No, no, no. That's not what I was doing. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now. Because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. (laughs) I've always felt like it's my job to make. Let me ask a question. Is the premise of this movie that every white person needs a black person to be friends with them so the white person is happy? I don't know what the fuck. Am I getting that right? So prejudiced. 
Okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Make white people feel comfortable, and here it literally is. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm gonna need your help. Do you think you can like work your magic? Hey, is he talking about me? Hey. Oh my. Wait, are you? But I traveled a long way. <laughs> Uh, you're listening. The black guy is stealing the white guy's girl, and that's making the b white guy uncomfortable. So, and that's unraveling all the magic of black people. <laughs> Say that again, Dion, just so we're clear. <laughs> this movie is ridiculous. Uh, Someone defied the society. Who was it? You didn't let her go like I told you. If you interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. Even though we might never see each other again, I need you to know that what we had was real. I'm curious to see how you're going to make it out of all this. I'm just saying, finally, a, bl a black movie I can take my dad to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would have been able to. <laughs> <laughs> I, David Allen Greer is like pretty progressive on a lot of things, and so it's kind of surprising that he... There's got to be some message not in the trailer that's... No, that's exactly what the movie's about and why it did not do well. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. what They're prejudiced. Oh, it's a I terrible mean, premise yeah. for a movie. Is, is it supposed to be satire, maybe, without a... No, it's not satire. Oh. It was what them niggas were thinking. I mean, I, I, hate, I hate movies. I hate black movies. When you try to hit white people on the head and it, with, with what's going on, it's, they know what's going on. Yeah. So if you're going to do, if you're going to send a message to me, send it where it makes sense. You know, you're just saying, oh, white people are uncomfortable. That's not true. That's just, that's just Chris, maybe. All white people are not uncomfortable. I'm not you know, uncomfortable. But black people, we're uncomfortable around people too. Yeah. So why do you why do you do it from both sides? It's kind of like the climate change movie where it's just like there's no I don't know. That's why the Miss Pat show if I'm gonna send a message, I like to send a message to both to everybody because everybody's fucked up. Well, you just can't say, oh, 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 only white people feel uncomfortable. Hell, I've been in a motherfucking uh, fucking brown Korean people, and I was uncomfortable. Yeah, that's not the premise of the movie. <laughs> the premise of the movie is: is does he give up his girlfriend for the comfort of white people? <laughs> they turn it into a love story. <laughs> but that's not this what nigga got a job for protecting white fragility, and a woman fucked it up. <laughs> so it's misogynistic too. Yeah, it's so it never like a good movie. If you're trying to make fun of the people you're, whose mind you're trying to change, it's not gonna work. It, it will work because we made we made white people slave on the on the fourth season of the Miss Pat show. <laughs> we did it right. No, but the thing about the Miss Pat show, what I was gonna say is like everybody can see themselves in the humanness of the characters, so it works. That's what you know. If you if you're gonna throw out a teaching message, I think everybody needs to be able to learn from that message. You don't, you just don't hit, um, I mean, that's how I feel. You just don't hit one race of people across the head. You know, if there's a teachable moment, you want to say something to white people, you should say it to whoever else in there and whoever else. And, you know, you get everybody in the bowl and say, hey, y'all, we all fucked up, but we got to live together so and we can do this together. That's how I feel. I don't like a movie when they just pick out you saying, you know, all white people are comfortable because I met a white boy last night at the club. You'd have thought he was a nigga. I mean, this boy had been shot. He trafficked cocaine and hands his license. If I closed my eyes, I'd have thought I was talking to somebody black. <laughs> Where'd you meet this motherfucker at? He was actually security for the club. Yeah, that was about right. And mom and mama smoked crack, hair run, amphetamine. I'm like, how the fuck is your mama still breathing? Those are his kids' names too, Heron and Fetamine. <laughs> that sounds like a kick-ass band. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we finna go see Heron and Fetamine. <laughs> yeah. So I, I you know, I'm, it, I, it, is this based on like a play or a movie of some like? 
I think I I've heard no the term idea. before. Well, on, on the lighter uh, side, y'all can. Can you Google it? I don't want to put that in my search terms. Yeah, y'all can catch me in uh, who uh, what is it? Who told Mama the babysitter did? Don't tell mom. <laughs> don't, don't tell mama the babysitter did. We ain't talking about nobody. We just got some badass kids out the chain and it's fucking good. So make sure Friday, y'all go and get a ticket to see me <sighs> on the big stream. Don't tell mama the babysitter did. One day only, y'all. Please go see the movie. I'm going to see the fucking movie. Dion and Chris, I hope y'all go see it too. It's got to be nice to see y'all friend up there on a the stream that she can see it. <laughs> can I see it in IMAX? <laughs> uh, how was Disney World? Oh my God. So Disney was so fucking good. We, we didn't go to Disney. Stop saying Disney. We went to um we went to Disney Co. Let me say something to you guys. And I did we did VIP at every part. Disney Co. I had never heard of it. I was laying in the bed one night on TikTok and um, um, Disney Cole popped up. Disney Cole is a park that Disney World used to own but got rid of it and SeaWorld got it so you can go you can go um, swimming with the dolphins, swimming with the sharks, swimming with the stingrays and it's a warm pool. It was it's all you can eat, all you can drink all day long. Or as uh, Junebug put it on Instagram, Mama's got us out here doing dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next slide was him, you, or somebody kissing a dolphin. <laughs> he said white shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? A lot, most of them in my group had never swum with dolphins before. And it was really nice. The kids enjoyed it. When I tell you, we had so much fucking fun. Oh, wow, we doing it. We had so much fucking fun at Disney Cove. Oh, y'all, if y'all get a chance, go to Disney Cove. It's a little expensive. It's about $300 a person, $500 a person, or $600 a person if you do VIP. But we had a fucking blast. Then, the next day, because I had it all, I had it all, Stan Chan went with us. I had it all mapped out. All mapped out. He's a comedian, so, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Comedian. Okay. The next day we goes to Epcot. Stan go to Epcot with us. We VIP. I didn't like the VIP. I will say this to you guys: Do not waste your money if you can afford VIP. Do not waste it on um on Epcot. Epcot is boring. It's for old people who like to sniff flowers. Matter of fact, for old white people who like to sniff flowers. Because I'm what? old. All I did was sneeze. Wasn't it that supposed to be Tomorrowland, the world of the future? And like in 1960, it was futuristic, but now it's like weird. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's boring. Um, <laughs> they got that one galaxy ride that everybody like. It sucked ass. Uh, the VIP people pissed me the fuck off because they, what they do? Well, at, at Epcot, you don't get to jump the line like, like you do at Universal. So we just went through the fast lane. So I'm like, why? Why do I have you niggas here? I pay eight hundred and fifty dollars an hour. We pay eight hundred and fifty dollars an hour to have you motherfucker just walk with us in the park. And we had four guys. And they didn't fast pass you nowhere? Fast pass, that was it. I didn't need that. We could have just bought a fast pass. Mm. And the park wasn't crowded. What then, is a VIP supposed to normally do? What would you get in other I places? I only did VIP at Universal before I got over to... Uh, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. But VIP usually uh, at, at, at Universal, you skip the line. That's what you do. You fucking skip the line. You don't wait. Gotcha. And so it was 40 of us. So Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I'd be so pissed off. Forty people. Uh, that's where racism. That's where racism starts. Oh, I'd, I'd buy a Confederate flag. These I swear rich to God. niggas got money. <laughs> oh, I've been in here for two hours with this five-year-old. <laughs> so the people who had never done VIP before, oh, they got a kick out of it. We walking through the line. We all got on our shirts, a universal shirt, Epcot shirt. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. white people. Like, where did all these niggas come from? <laughs> and they kept their eyes on us through, all the way through every forty one of us. I felt kind of bad. <laughs> they were trying to figure out which one is the basketball player. <laughs> I felt white privilege. <laughs> I did. 
So then I started walking. I heard somebody say, I think that's Miss Pat. I think that's Miss Pat. And one guy was like, hey, Miss Pat, towards the end. But um, it was, it was, Universal was so good. We ate so much. I gained six pounds. Oh, my God. It was, it was wonderful, y'all. If you can afford a VIP pass at, and it's not a skip the line pass, it's a VIP. They feed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. So, okay. So it's 40 of us, right? And I looked around. I brought 40 black people and two, uh, 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 a white what woman. Is, one white woman. And one, uh, his, what is he, Chinese? Asian. Because when I saw the photo, I yeah, yelled, we got Chinese. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've always bragged about how much I love Disney. So Stan was like, do you mind if I come with your family? I'm like, hell no, you family too. And he fit it right in. And he, he was like, I organized all my own trips. I get the I get the travel agent. I book the tickets. I organize it. I tell her what I want. We we all got up in the morning at six o'clock. Be downstairs at seven o'clock. You get on this bus. This bus take all of us to the park. We're gonna eat at this time. We're gonna do this at this time. It was fun. It was fun. That drink around the world is some bullshit. So you know, Cortland wife like to drink. So she said on TikTok, it says start in Mexico. I said, but no, I think they said start in Canada because they got the light shit. No, start in Mexico. <laughs> I took a sip of that shit. I said, I quit. <laughs> I, I, I started in Norwegian or Norway. What is it? Norway. <laughs> Norway. I started over there. And they, they gave me this cute little apple bill. It was pretty fucking good. But then I went to Mexico and it was over. <laughs> <laughs> You had a cartel beer and you could handle it. What, <laughs> what <Yeah>. was it? <laughs> it was supposed to be a um it was supposed to be a uh a, like a strawberry daiquiri, but I swear it had to be that much liquor in it. <laughs> I took a what? sip, I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do this. Mm -mm. No. And so uh Garrett got on one ride over at university. <laughs> he said he couldn't breathe. He said he had to turn gay. So he can scream. So he started screaming. Do that again. <laughs> oh man, it's not picking it up on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said he had to turn gay so he could scream. But it was so much fun. What, know, what 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 was the reason he had to turn gay to scream? <laughs> Garrett, what was that Roger <laughs> that was all Juba? He was on some crazy ass ride, and it was so fucking crazy that Kiera only rode it once. But Cortland and everybody else got back on that motherfucker. I I, I got on a baby. Oh, Garden of the Galaxy over at Epcot. He was like, "Nah, fuck y'all on that one." <laughs> oh, uh, you're not a roller coaster person, are you? <laughs> no, he said, uh, "I think that's the ride where they go in and then the whole car turn, and then it drops." He said that, that was some bullshit. Gary, what was the name of that ride that made you turn gay? Gary, <laughs> what was the name of that ride that made you scream gay? Garden of the Galaxy. So if you want to come out, go on the Garden of the Galaxy. It will make you come out. <laughs> but it was so much fun. It was and I I, I kind of wish I'd invite your family, but you know. I did. I'm sorry, but it was okay. so much fun. Next year. Well, next year we're going to Dubai. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to Dubai. Yeah, you should come go to Dubai yeah. with us. I'll leave them here. They can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about taking my one year old to Dubai. I don't know. Well, who won? The baby? Yeah, he's just too light skinned to go to Dubai. He can't handle that. What do you mean? He's he's, he's white. He's not. Well, he spent four minutes out in the sun yesterday watching the eclipse, and he got burned. <laughs> well, that's because y'all had him watching some bullshit. Uh, are you kidding, Dion? Yeah, did you watch? It was the dope as fuck. I don't it know was what she talked about. Unbelievable. I didn't watch that shit. You well because you were in Atlanta and you had eighty percent. I'm here four years. It's come every 40 years, 20 to 40. Yeah, the next one's in 20 years in, like, Arkansas. 20 years in Arkansas. He said he had one in high school. 
Yeah, there was one in 2017. Mm-hmm. 2017. What yeah. what what was it at? Tennessee, Texas. This it was literally like an hour and a half after dusk. I mean, the lights just went out all of a sudden and then when the moon moved out of the way and there was a tiny sliver of light, the lights flicked back on and it was just incredible and everybody stopped talking and just stared up at it. Like if you were people in our neighborhood were lighting off fireworks. It was so stupid. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> it was just so rednecky. Just just take a, take a <laughs> minute to appreciate nature and shut up. So nah. why did the moon cross the sun? That, that... So the moon is between us and the sun, and the sun, the moon, and the earth are the exact right size and distance for the moon to completely cover and create a total eclipse. That so... almost feel like when the moon crosses the sun. It, the, the moon is getting evicted, so he moves to the other side of town. Because <laughs> for years he's been on this side, and he got to go over here. <laughs> so the moon got evicted, so now he's back on the east side. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an eviction to me. Yeah. Years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking mind. But so you weren't outside at all. I know you guys only had like eighty percent coverage, but did you notice it at all yesterday down there? I saw it get dark. I didn't look up. I, I didn't. I didn't do the uh, the Donald Trump. I, you know, <laughs> hey guys, I'm grown. I got more shit to do than an eclipse. I'm forty years old. I've seen a few eclipses. Fifty two. Hold on. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick break. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. If you're constantly giving to others and neglecting yourself, it may seem like the right thing to do, but it's going to wear you out. Online therapy through BetterHelp can teach you how to make yourself a priority. You'll learn positive coping skills, how to set boundaries, and how to be the best version of yourself. Whatever you're going through, BetterHelp is there for you. BetterHelp is 100% online and suited to your schedule. All you got to do is just fill out a quick questionnaire to get you matched with a licensed therapist, and you'll be on your way. You can even switch therapy at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. All you got to do is visit BetterHelp.com slash the pat down today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash the pat down. Give online therapy a try at www.BetterHelp.com slash the pat down and get on your way to being your best self. Um, what I was going to ask you guys, so what do you think about the whole presidential thing? I think, I don't think, I don't, it it looked like our president going to cork over before the debate. I'm actually really worried about him. Because he's, like, in the last year, slowed down a lot. And Kamala Harris just does not speak, like, when she gives speeches, it's like she laughs at inappropriate times. It's very don't, odd. Don't do that. Don't do that when that white boy Trump is nope. acting. Get, go go watch a Kamala Harris speech I and tell me that you want to vote for her. You, you, go watch you a Kamala Harris Donald speech Trump. and tell you go watch a motherfucking Donald Trump who talk. I would never that. vote for Donald Trump. I would but never vote for Donald Trump because he's a moron too. Do, his motherfucker said, "Big Bird kill Lincoln." <laughs> no, I'm no, telling no. you, it's the same energy. No, it's not. Go watch Kamala Harris speech and get back to me. Woman is the same energy as Donald Trump. Now she might laugh at some bullshit, but no, that no. And, and I'm not even a Kamala Harris fucking fan. But you're not even gonna put that in that that you're not even gonna put them two but, in the same. I, you did it, not me. I didn't say anything about comparing the I two. You, have you seen our president? You brought up Kamala. I'm saying if he <laughs> dies, Democrats are in trouble. Republicans are in trouble. <laughs> what happened to Kennedy? What happened to I was Kennedy? Say they both did. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Robert they... Robert Kennedy Jr. apparently wants to seek the Libertarian nomination, which I could not hate more. Well, what happened to him for uh, president? Hmm. What happened to him? He was supposed to be running for president. He still is. He's, is he, he running independent or? 
or is he still trying to do the Democratic? Ticket? No, he dropped out of the Democratic race, tried to get ballot access as an independent. It's hard. So he's running it as a libertarian, allegedly. He's trying to take votes from Biden. He takes more votes from Trump, actually, because of the vaccine stuff. It's going to be interesting. You know, I, I know. I wish they all could lose. That would be wonderful. Oh, that would yes. be wonderful. No, no, that's how, how it's going to work. We're all going to lose. We are. No, we've already lost. <laughs> yeah, there's no upside here. So let me ask you something. If I think Trump is only running because he want to clear himself. He gonna clear himself of all his charges, and I don't think his kids gonna let him do. I don't think we're gonna have a first wife anymore because she's not coming back. She redid the prenup to guarantee that she didn't have to do any of that. Yeah, so she we ain't gonna have no first lady. Who gonna tend to the garden? <laughs> Ivanka's not <laughs> involved. She's not involved. His daughter, his son, his cocaine head ass son ain't gonna be able to do nothing. We're gonna look up. And Valamu or Valapu, whatever his name is, gonna be in the White House eating. Who? You mean Vivek? Hmm? Vivek? Valapu. What? Valamir. What's his name, baby? Vladimir. Vladimir. Vladimir Putin? Yeah, Putin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're calling him a Russian plant. Okay. All right. Now, that, 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 I get it. The kids said, the kids told me, thank you, Honda. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do. Democrats and Republicans, we need to come together and pray because, you know, you got, you got one, you got a fat C9, and then you got a tiptoe C9. You know that <laughs> I'd be tiptoeing everywhere? He yeah, really he can't, does. Be, he, he can't be falling down every day. <laughs> he has like weighted <laughs> shoes. They put weighted shoes on him. You know everything. <laughs> you didn't see that? He's got like these. Uh, he's got these like wide. The bottom of the shoes they look like Brooks, but wider, and they're weighted to keep. The, so apparently, like older people wear them so they don't fall. I mean, I'm not mad at him for falling down. He's like 88. Like I don't, you know, I just don't want oh, him to be president. Trump is 77. Biden's 81. Man, they went to school together. I can't find it, but yeah, Joe Joe has on special sneakers. Don't Trump was shuffling too. You remember when Trump was president? Went down that ramp like real slow and weird. Well, you know, because he got a belly, so that should have tipped over on him. <laughs> I think you know what I think. I think they should put Biden and Trump together and script them butt ass naked, and we vote for the one that look good. And I think Joe Biden's gonna look better naked. <laughs> I think I I I mean, what do you think, Dion? I would give up my vote forever if that. Was, I would never vote again. Do you imagine that we started voting? Trump has <laughs> Trump has that big big ass. <laughs> Can you imagine what Trump would say if he saw Biden dick? Why your dick so little, Biden? <laughs> Even if his hog was bigger than Trump's, he'd be like so small. Tiny. <laughs> your dick look big because your nuts are small. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he'll tell them. But it's gonna be an interesting year for both both sides, you know, Democrats and Republicans. So we gotta stay prayed up, guys, because I don't know if we're safe on either side. You're not. You're not at all. Why would you think that? I never thought that. Actually, I never thought that. Yeah. But I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote for Biden, and I'm not. I'm never forget to tell anybody. Too many people before me died for this right. Too many of my ancestors. I'm just being honest. You know, black people got the ass beat, and you know, and fought for us to have the shit that we have today. And some people are trying to take that shit back. So there's no way I wouldn't stand out and not vote. Because every time I'm voting, you know. Hopefully I'm here. I'm here. I'm healing a knot some white people put on one of my ancestors' head. <laughs> I mean, you're from Georgia, so that could literally be true. <laughs> Nigga, you gonna you gonna be voting for the rest of your life trying to heal them knots? <laughs> <laughs> so should you. 
Trump's just the greatest con man ever because he passes all these stimulus bills. He passes like he shuts down the economy. He basically wrecks the entire economy. Loses. Biden gets all the blame for it. And then just spends four years going, can you believe this guy? Look how he messed <laughs> everything up. You got to put me back in. I'll I'll fix it all. It's like you were the one who ruined it to begin with. What? How did we all forget this? Anthony Fauci's terrible. You hired him. He was there. You put him on stage. <laughs> I have to say thank you. I don't know who gave me this um, book, but a fan gave me this. Um, Is it the the photo book with the collection of all the Instagrams? From Kennesaw, Georgia. Yeah, so this is uh, the group chat. There's a group chat of content creators that have all kinds of all, you know, uh, I'll, I'll find some of the accounts, but they put together this book. I want to thank you so, you know, and I get I get a lot of things because I have a P.O. box, but even with the Chick-fil-A code you, get, you put on the front, I just want to say thank you. Because you guys really, I, I, you know, I, I know you guys are fans, but a lot of you feel like family member to me. I mean, to take out the time to put this book together for me, it's just, it's just, it's beautiful. And the introduction says, Dear Miss Pat, we just wanted to gift you with this book as an act of love and support. May this year, may this year be even more amazing than the last, bringing you joy, success, and a wonderful memories. You are literally a legend on earth. And even though you don't want any more family members, even though you don't want any more family members, it's too late because you already an auntie of us, LOL, 52 and where. <laughs> As the years go by, you only get more beautiful and you look more youthful. Happy birthday. Thank you so very much to everybody that was involved in getting me this book. This is just beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, people like, Southern Alley and we love Miss Pat, all things Miss Pat. If you just look up Miss Pat on Miss Pat.fans, if you go to Instagram and just type in Miss Pat, you'll find all kinds of fan accounts oh, that post is, all kinds the, of clips. These accounts that did yes. This. So every I think every one of them took a page and wrote a note of appreciation to you along with their favorite pictures of you. And so the the she at handle from, from from at love Miss Pat. Oh, this is just beautiful. You know that group chat where I would comment and then you'd call me and yell at me and tell me to stop saying things? <laughs> it's that group chat. Oh, look at this. Yeah, with Norman Lear and Bob Saget. From at uh, E. Denise 42, I see her all the time. Babyface K. Oh, this is just beautiful. Now, I love this picture. Yeah, so they all selected their favorite picture of you and sent it in. They also did a bunch of videos on your birthday. They like collected people saying happy birthday. I and... saw that. Yeah. Auntie, uh, what is it? AMT Jawan? Five. Oh, this is just beautiful. Isn't it like 30 of them contributed to the book? It's a lot of people, right? Does it look uh, thick? Miss Pat. <laughs> this is oh look at this. Yeah, it's wow. Picture. <laughs> Pictures of hers little girl. It's crazy when you get a real background, how good you look, huh? <laughs> you mean those bullshit school pictures we take in front of those generic backgrounds always make us look like trash but then you in the next picture with a real background on the red carpet looking fly as hell I look great with lasers behind me I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> are all yours lasers I mean Dion you Can should you post some like Pictures of you as a kid. I've never seen little pictures of like Pretty little ugly. Dion. I think her name. Was yeah, there's a reason why I don't post pictures of myself as a kid. Were you ugly? <laughs> you missed it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> I'm grown now. Look at me now. <laughs> So it says, uh, from credit of Lasaya, Lasaya, 
and shape. If the world was against you, then they would be against us too, because we're fighting them off with you. This book, this book was dedicated to you, Auntie Pat, from the newborn crack baby. And we call ourselves newborn because we are 18 and under, laugh out loud, Gen Z. Always, we just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and 52 more to come. All things, Miss Pat, and love, Miss Pat. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know if you know the fan Destiny. She's, uh, she's a good dancer. Her. Yeah, she's like 24, and she's like the second oldest person in this group chat. <laughs> she's always like, "You kids need to get your stuff together," because the it's amazing how many like young fans, like teenage fans, uh, you know, follow your career and speak to you. It was you it was, speak uh, to. I mean. I was just talking um, to some producers and we was talking about, we did a survey on the Miss Pat show where they did some research on the Miss Pat show and found out that a lot of young people watches the show and they watch the Miss Pat too. And, and um, you know, you really don't get young people watching judge shows, but they, they say they just love me because they feel like I can relate to every case that come through that door. I'm not awesome. dropping education shit, but it's just, the fan base is just, it's from zero to a hundred. And it I'm, is crazy. I'm telling you, I've never seen a TV show that has this wide of a fan base, cross demographics, races, colors, creeds, you know, like uh, ages. I was in Naples, Florida last night, I mean, this weekend. And um, uh, we people was talking about the show and it wasn't just black people. It was, you know, it was people that live in Naples. It was people that live in Fort Myers. It was people that live in Miami. It just, uh, you know, just a wide range of people and what they look like and to sit there and, you know, enjoy, and, you know, enjoy me. And I'm yeah. just, every day I'm just so grateful and thankful. They're showing Miss Pat settles it again. I was flipping through the channels and saw me on TV. It was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's on BET again. Yes. It's on it. They, uh, we was in, um, we was, we was on vacation and it was on. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it comes on. So I'm just thankful. Thank you for the beauty. And you know, this is don't ever try to buy me a person. I, and again, I apologize for that bitch taking your money. But <laughs> this stuff right here just is just so hard. I'm gonna put this in my office as soon as I move in, or I'm gonna put this in my podcast house. And I'm just grateful. I'm just, I mean, this is so heartwarming for you guys. I can't wait to read all these messages. I don't feel like reading out loud because I don't want her to have to do all that editing. <laughs> I am so fucking thankful and I am 52 years old and I'm I'm just I'm just blessed. I I, I am. I'm smiling every day, you know. Well, I, you know, every you, you guys have stuck with us so much. I was just thinking about this podcast. What are we going into 4 years now? No, we're we're past our 5th anniversary. We passed our fifth anniversary, and even when we had to do it like this, and we still, y'all are so patient and waiting for me to get this podcast house. And um, I just ordered the stuff, and I got somebody who's setting it up. And about a week or so, y'all are just great. I, I thank y'all each and every day, honestly. You know, and I was just, I was just looking at that. I thank y'all for you know sticking with the Patreon, and and thank y'all for you know. When I can, when I'm able to give you extra material again, I promise you I will. But if I if I wish I could share half of this shit, I I'm I'm in the middle. Like now I gotta go, I gotta go read two scripts. I hate fucking reading. I fucking hate reading. Getting... But once you get me started, who is that? Who is that? Oh. Um, fucked up my motherfucking thing I was saying all that sweet shit I was saying you said that you hate reading <laughs> I didn't say I hate you you said you hate reading oh yeah I hate reading but you know I'm. but I'm, thank I'm, you for telling me you love me I appreciate it oh I do you you family Chris you family yeah, and y'all should come and go to Dubai with me Dion do you want to go to Dubai come on Dion you don't do shit you, 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 <laughs> you, know, I mean, you should go to Dubai you got Listen, I've been trying to get you to live since I met you. You gotta, you gotta get. It's, it's, I live all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. 
to this. I just don't like doing the things you, I don't like Disney. I think it's creepy for my 40 year old single ass to be He's at Disney. Point. He's got a fast point. passing with white people who don't hate niggas right. now. <laughs> but we're going to Dubai. Okay. Ain't nothing in Dubai for me. Is that's, that's I that, you I can't say. afford a ticket to buy. I can't that's afford that's anything that. to eat at Dubai. Can I, can I say this to you? Mm -hmm. Stop saying what you can't do. And I tell you that all the time. When you say what you can't do, I, I, I could I could put the money and energy towards be, be affording fine. to go to Dubai. You're right. Can I say this. Go what ahead. Thoughts, huh? Oh. So I I know you probably think I just go and buy a trip to Dubai. No. All of my friends have different pockets. So what I do is I make sure I bring all of our pockets to the same level. We pay monthly installments. Mm -hmm. And no, you know, nobody knows who pays their trips off early because the money don't go to me. It goes to the damn agent. It goes to the uh the travel agent who books the trip. So stop saying what you can't do. No, it's it's I don't want to go. I don't want to spend the money on Dubai. <laughs> you know, I'm just live a little bit. I mean, I do. I live right here at home. How about you so live right there at home? When, when, when you get to Dubai, what are you going to do in Dubai? Well, What's we the all, we piss off a camel. No, I, <laughs> are you going to piss on a camel? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> well, let me say this. So my plans are: we had an all-inclusive resort. We said we're trying to stay. We're going to stay at the Atlantis, and um. Um, I'm gonna set up some excursions. Uh, one of them is that car on the water, a camel ride, uh, gliding hanging for the people that's not too fat. Uh, <laughs> like that Kim Jong Un man. <laughs> the red dresses. Uh, I have a lot of stuff. I want to go see that big, the biggest mall in the world they have, and you just relax. And, and think about this, Dion. I've known you for over 15 years and you've never really taken a vacation. So, I mean, and, and you always just chill. Give yourself an opportunity to work towards something that 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 puts you outside of your what your your area. <clears throat> okay. That's all I'm asking. You should go to the bar with me. I mean, he, is, he is he is very different than you and I, where like he's just chill all the time well it's like i've been pushing him for years so you know just give it a try just give it a try i i guarantee you 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 you'll be happy you did it you only live once you know none of us know when we're gonna die we all sit here and do the same old thing then we get too old to do the things we wish we had done i, I can see us now halfway across the atlantic like I told you, we shouldn't have gone to Dubai as the Boeing plane that we're on. The doors <laughs> pop off. Like Man. I told this nigga not to. I go just to watched Dubai. that documentary. I don't know that I'll ever write a Boeing again. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to tell you because you fly so much, but Boeing basically to they give back. They spent 20 years just giving back to shareholders instead of investing in research, development, good product, people. Now it's catching up with them. And who they make planes for? Everybody. Everybody. There's two. <laughs> there's Airbus and Boeing, and there's two airplane companies, and one of them is failing. Well, yeah. Well, I'm flying Emory, and that has nothing to do with us America. That is the buy airline, <laughs> and it's like a restaurant. I heard they have a seven page menu. Ooh. And the back of the plane feel like first class. The front of the first class feel like heaven. Is that I've one of the seen a video where they lay down? They got showers in some of them planes. Oh, that's nice. You can eat whenever you want to. And guess what? The ticket is thirteen dollars from Chicago, and the ticket right now is only thirteen hundred dollars. That's it. A round trip from Chicago. That's really cheap. Because it's for next year. Right. Right. And you can't tell me you can't afford it. It's just a payment plan. You sh it's going to be like 30 of us. And we're going to have a fucking ball. And you should come. You I'll should think about it. You should too, Chris. You should give them kids to your mother-in-law and yeah. tell them that you're going to be gone for six days. That's the thing is I would never take my kids to Dubai. <laughs> we need a break from them. We're very tired. That's what he's, I got the, he's got the, he's the cutest little thing, but he's nine months old now. 
and he wakes up he wakes up every day at 5 a.m to play with dad and he sits there and he goes dad 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 starts smacking me (laughs) we get up and play and then he gets then he gets sleepy and then i take him back in at like 6 30 to his mom then he feeds and falls asleep meanwhile i'm tired as fuck the rest of <laughs> but he didn't see me all day today because I had so many meetings and he just was like so excited. He's crawling to me. It's just he's getting he's just so sweet. So it's yeah, it's cute. Oh, but we are we are getting to the to the point where Reagan and I need a, a couple's only vacation. You need to get to that point you as parents come, where you're like, I'm gonna go to Dubai with us. Yeah. Well I'll talk to her about it and we'll talk to you. Yes, yeah, payment plan. So we're not going yeah. to get you. And I'm excited. Cause I was gonna go to Mexico to uh Nickelodeon. And then I said, you know what? I don't want to go to Nickelodeon. We just did Disney. So I want to go to Dubai. And and, yeah. and the resort is so kids friendly that I ain't going to probably never see them. They have something to keep them and everything. Cool. Yeah. So it's some. It's you got to start living. You know, you, for, for years we always say what we can't do. You know, even when, even when I didn't have any money, I used to tell my husband, don't tell me what I can't do. I can do anything. Don't, don't you say that. Don't you say that. I can do anything. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I, you just got to put it in your mind what you want. No, I, I hear you. I, I could afford to go to Dubai if I wanted to. I, think I don't he just doesn't, want to go. He just travels. I, just, I don't, I don't, I don't he... want to be on a plane for 14 hours. Yeah. But you know what, Dion? I went to Hawaii and it was 10 hours. Of t- I did not feel like it. And Emirates is way better than Delta, I heard. And I'm a million miles over at Delta, and you're not gonna feel like you're on a plane. I don't think we, I don't think any of us gonna feel like, honestly. You you gonna feel like royalty with me? Okay. All right. Well, think about it, Dion. <laughs> think about it. I, I said I think about it. Think about it. Just <laughs> come on. Think about it. I got lost in Dubai. You know, so, nigga, I don't work here. <laughs> I'm not gonna curse that whole week. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm I started in the magical the Negro. Time. Fine. <laughs> You're not allowed to cuss in Dubai. Not out loud, and you can't show no affections either. Well, then I'm not going. <laughs> I slap my wife's butt. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell me that you can't slap my wife's butt. I can't say kiss my ass and get hit in an elevator. What's the point of going to Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> we, we we can cut this out, but are you doing the party this year? No. Okay. All right. I don't know if you want to talk about it or do you want me to cut it out? No, I'm not doing the party this year because uh, I'm finishing up my house. And okay. I would try really hard next year. It was a lot. You know, one of the things I ran into at the end that pissed me off so bad was some niggers. And and niggers don't mean just black people. I'm just saying niggers. They literally went back and asked for their money back. So I had to fight about 12 people to say, no, you purchased a ticket. Mm. You know how people buy shit and say they didn't do it? Mm -hmm. People bought raffle tickets to hope to win a free trip to Atlanta. And did not, and, and, and since they, it was five, some people were asking for five dollars back. I'm like, yeah, the money that I spent in the tickets did not cover the venue, the food, the breakfast, the podcast, paying y'all. I said, come, I actually lose only because I want us to feel like a family and to be a part of something. And I said, y'all literally, ran. me and Miss Jenny was fighting so many people to try to keep them from taking my money back after I had already spent that part. Y'all saw that part? That part was over $60,000. Did they call the bank and put stop payment on it or something? Yeah, they said it, uh, they didn't do the charge. Oh my gosh. That's so, come on. Did they, Are these people that didn't show up and they... They came. The... They came. <laughs> we emailed some of them. <laughs> what was the word you used? <laughs> Ass niggers. <laughs> they didn't win the raffle ticket, so they asked for their five dollars back. And I'm like, guys, I try. They I- asked for a five dollar raffle <laughs> ticket. <laughs> I had about three five dollar people. Come. So, <laughs> I'm like, really, dude? 
after I spent all that money, I said, and I didn't even say, I even had everybody picked up from the designated hotel to make sure you were safe. And I said, that's how y'all treat me? Yes. Nobody does that shit for their fans. It is very classless of those people, but you can't ever forget the other dozens, hundreds of people that went that appreciated beyond words. Well, that's, you know, that's not why I'm not doing it. The reason why I'm not doing it is because really, y'all, I'm just trying to focus on getting in my house. Yeah, I get it. Moving's very difficult. You know, and then I'm on, on tour, so it would just be really a bad time right now. But yeah, you are, you're straight, you're, you're, cool you gotta, you gotta, it's like, there's wisdom in saying yes because you get so many cool experiences, but at a certain point, you do have to say, look, this is just beyond my limits. Yeah, so ne we're planning it for next year. We, we really are. We're planning it for next year. So I got you, but you know that that's those are just some of the things that made me so mad. I'm like five dollars, really? That's so ridiculous. Yeah, you know, it's, it's... Over five dollars. If you're the five dollar person, can you e message me and explain what you wanted the five dollars? But I just want to hear the explanation. Stupid son of bitches. I don't understand. <laughs> if you're buying a raffle ticket and you only buy one, you should <laughs> like and the fake charge wasn't weren't the tickets only like a hundred dollars. I wonder it's definitely people... worth it too. Like yeah. You tickets were not five hundred dollars. I had so many fucking um top shelf. It was no cheap alcohol at that party. Everything was top shelf. Motherfucking Don Julio, whatever that brown bottle look. I had about 60 of them bitches pouring it like water. Am I lying? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Patron, where you go to a party? Like, I had somebody say, I ain't never been no party without it kind of looking before. And you look boom phone. Put it this way to break even, you would have had to charge like $400 a ticket. So you gave everybody already a $300 coupon. Yes, the food, the spread, the catering, you know, the gift, the pillows, the rental, the furniture, the person who did I, the first year I did it. This year, you can tell I didn't do it. I hired somebody. She wasn't cheap. She did yeah. an awesome job. But, you know, <laughs> also they said, it, Jordan was like, Jordan asked me too. He's like, you want to do the part? I said, no, not this year. But I am. I'm going to start in the summertime planning for next October. Give yourself less time to plan so it costs you less money, please. Please. <laughs> if you plan for a year and a half, you will just plan more every month. You'll come up with a new idea. Just start give yourself like a nine month runway. <laughs> no, you could find a venue. You gotta find a thing. Yeah, that's true. It took a long time to find that venue. That was a real pain in the butt just to find a place to host it. Yeah, and then you got to find, uh, you got to come up with a theme, and then you got to get a people who's coming. You know, again, they put they, we all put our stuff on that way. So buy the ticket, then you got to buy the plane ticket, then you got to get enough money for hotel. You know, people, everybody don't have a shit ton of money, yeah. but everybody like to have a good time. So some people need to pay for their things and increments. So with that said, stay tuned because it's coming. It's coming. Could, could we do maybe like. I'd love to host like an Indianapolis party where we just get together and have dinner. It's not, you don't have to do anything. We're just people who live near, like maybe we get little groups of people in your town. We organize something like that. I'm not coming to Indiana for Piccadilly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you miss everybody here. She wants them Portillo wieners. <laughs> yeah, we could take Nikea to the Eagle. You rub that fried chicken <laughs> grease on his face, just like he used to. No, I'm not doing that. I would like to have a party. Okay. It would I'm be saying nice. just the listeners. Like, maybe we could get listeners to get, hang out with each other somehow. They do. They do it a lot. They come. They, I see them all the time teaming up. That's but, cool. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll think about having it in a different state. Yeah, Indiana. Awesome. <laughs> For me to have it in Indiana, I would have to bring the caterer up there. I would have to bring... Um, oh, we have caterers here. Chris, just leave it alone, man. Why <laughs> you make her do this to you? Because <laughs> I want her to. <laughs> don't you agree? Don't you agree? Yeah, don't, don't, don't get no caterers from up here. 
<laughs> with that said, <laughs> make sure put up the date. And with right. that said, make sure y'all join me while I'm on tour because it's winding down. Austin, Texas, I need your help. I need you to go out and get tickets for April the 18th because I'm on my way. I will be at the Paramount Theater, okay? A part of the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Uh, May 3rd, Netflix is a joke. Los Angeles, California, I will be at the Balesto. I said it right. Uh, Harris, Harris Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey, May the 11th. Get your tickets now. Lexington, Kentucky. I'm on my way to Lexington Opera House, baby, May 17th. And then the next day, May 18th, I will be at the Joy Theater, New Orleans. Oh, I cannot wait to get to New Orleans. I'm a Falcon fan, but I like New Orleans. Uh, tap, what is this? Tap, the, tap Theater, May 31st. Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, June 1st. The Comedy Zone, South Carolina, June 14th and 15th. So make sure you go to misspackcomedy.com. Get your tickets. Austin, Texas. I'm on my way next week. I need you to get your fucking tickets. They show up and show out at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival, New Orleans, Cincinnati, Columbus. I need y'all to step up and get your fucking tickets because we're going to have a good ass time. And with that said, thank you for joining us on another episode of the Pat Down, and we ain't going no motherfucking where.